Welcome to mytheambox.com. This video we are going to see how the Ionic Taxi application is going to work. So this application is built with the Ionic as a front end and uh, we use the Firebase real time uh, database as a back end. So before uh, showing the demo of this application, I would like to show the uh, demo of the admin panel. So here this is an admin panel. So in a home you can manage the uh, complete uh, menu so when you go to the driver so here you can see the driver details so you can manually uh, approve the driver or disapprove it and you can see the driver details car informations and you can uh, edit the information and you can see the driver trip history and you can see the wallet of the driver and uh, when you go to the passenger so you can see the information about the passenger such as name uh, email id kind of thing and when you go to the trip so you can able to filter the trips based on the dates so you can uh, select between the dates and when you click filter so you can see the trips and their details and you can see the driver information and you can also see the rider details so you can uh, add a promo codes or a coupon codes so you can add the title code and uh, here you so the when the user is applied the code the total percentage will be reduced on the price and you can also edit the promo code even if you want you can delete it on a notification you can able to send the push message to the driver and writer so you can add the title and description and when you click add a message it will automatically send to the driver and rider as a push notification and when you go to the car and currency settings so here you can add you can you can add a new card or you can edit the existing card so when i click add card so you can uh, add the car type like a suv seed and taxi or whatever it is you can add the name and you can add the url so if you want to keep it locally you can put the image inside the writer application or you can use any web url so the same goes for a map icon so you can select the seeds and uh, you can uh, select the commission so whether it is going to be a fixed price or a percentage and you can add the commission value in case if you are putting a percentage like 50 percentage for a driver so you can use 50. so here i have explained how the kilometer how the calculation works so you can look into it you can edit the core details and you can also delete the core details and then you can go to the setting so here from the admin panel itself you can uh, enable or disable the sign up so you can add the currency symbol and the emergency contact and you can add the support url for uh, both driver and rider and the initial rating uh, when the user signed up so you can add the initial rating in case if you want to any uh, sign up bonus to the driver wallet so you can add here so once you done our settings to the admin panel so let's uh, explore how the application is going to work so first uh, let's let's see the rider application so i am going to create a new app so first i need to give fill the details and click uh, register so now the account has been created successfully let's let's create a new account with the driver also so when i click register so you can add the car brand and car model and you can add the plate name so in case if you want to upload the document so you can upload it and you can select the car type so this car type is coming from an admin panel so here we have added the CDN and the SUV car type. So it is coming from there. And uh, in case if you want to upload the documentation, you can upload something like an image or photo or whatever it is. So you can upload it. So now when you click the register, driver account has been created successfully. And this driver need to approve from the admin panel. So you can go to the drivers. So I'm going to approve it. So now the driver they can able to accept the trip. So now the driver is located successfully and uh, I'm going to make a trip now. So I'm going to select the from a true, true location. So when I click done. So now you can see uh, we have a CDN and a SUV. So since we selected the CDN, so the driver car type is CDN. So here you can see the car car here. So if, if I select SUV, there is no car because there is no driver available on the SUV. So I'm clicking a uh, CDN and I'm clicking a cash or card. So I'm clicking card. So now it's showing invalid card. In case if you want to do the card, uh, card thing, so you can go to the payment. So here you can use uh, some dummy card. So I'm going to save it. 
So here we have used the Stripe API. So it is, it's automatically validated. I'm going back to the home and here when I click the cache and I can select the card option or I can choose the cache. So I'm going to choose it. So now the card is ready. So if you have any promo code, so you can apply it. So we already have the promo code. So I'm going to apply it. So now when I click the right option, so the driver will get it. So the driver, they can see the uh, from and to location and they can see the commission also. If the driver is accepted, so that trip will automatically accept. If the driver is rejected, so it will go to the next to driver. So I'm going to accept the right. So now you can see, so the driver is on the way and the, in, a, in a, a driver, so you can uh, see the rider details and the navigation. So when you click the navigation, it will open a Google map. And here you can see the distance between the driver and the estimation time and the price for it. And uh, so you can call the driver. And if you want to cancel the trip, you can cancel it. And when you, if you want to start the trip, so you have to enter the OTP. So this OTP is coming from the rider so that you can avoid the fake, fake trips. So I'm going to enter the OTP. 6986. So I'm going to verify it. So now the verification is done. So now you can see uh, I can able to complete the trip and uh, the driver uh, on a rider application you can see the emergency contact number. So in case any emergency you can add the you can call the emergency and I'm going to complete the trip. So yes. So now the trip is completed on a rider you can able to rate the driver. So I'm going to give five star. You can rate the trip and you can see the payment. If you if you don't want to rate it, you can close it. So rate the trip. So now the rating is successful. So here you can see the trip details and the same thing goes for a rider. So when I go to the my right, here you can see the trip details. So when you go to the wallet, so you can see the wallet balance. So in case if you want to uh, request a withdrawal, so you can add it. And uh, here, so when you go to the notification, so here you can see the notification for the driver and under the settings, so you can able to uh, edit your profile or you can add the car details. And uh, so in settings, so you can also change the language and uh, enable or disable the notification. So this in, in a rider, so you can go to the my trips to see the trips and uh, payments. So you can add the car details and notification so whatever the notification for the rider and under the settings so you can able to edit the profile and you can change the language and enable or disable the push notification thank you so much for watching this video if you are having any issue or uh, if you have any doubts so you can uh, click the support and you can reach us